Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Today, the Egyptian Minister of Antiquities, Khaled Anani, has announced the discovery of 40 perfectly preserved Egyptian mummies, 10 of which were children. They were found in the Tuna El Gabel archaeological area in the desert province of Minya, south of Cairo, inside two ancient tombs that contained five wells. There was also a third tomb that contained limestone, pottery and wooden coffins. Anani states that the mummies date back to the Ptolemaic, Roman or Byzantine period of Egyptian history, like many of the new discoveries of 2019 so far. Inside the cemetery, which was cut out of the bedrock, were 30 men and 10 children, belonging to an elite middle class family, and according to Egypt today, all were found to be in very good condition. Some were decorated with demotic handwriting, a form of ancient Egyptian script used by ordinary people. Pottery, papyri and colourful mummy cases were also unearthed. In total, there were the remains of 50 individuals, but only 40 were in a perfect state of preservation. They knew the age of the mummies due to Greek letters that were found on their legs. Only 12 months ago in the same region, Khaled Anani announced the discovery of 8 tombs that contained 40 coffins of pharaonic priests, and more than 1,000 statues. These though were far more luxurious, and the find also included jewellery, pottery and jars. There was also the discovery of a gold mask, and Anani described the discovery as one of the largest and most important Egyptian archaeological discoveries in recent years. Two years ago, in May 2017, 18 non-royal mummies were also found in Tuna El Gabel. Experts found burial shafts that led to a number of corridors containing a cachet of mummies, and was the first human necropolis found in central Egypt with so many mummies. Maybe because it wasn't explored extensively in antiquity, this particular region of Egypt surely contains more archaeological finds yet to be discovered. But not many people know about this region, so why was it so important? Tuna El Gabel is located in the present city of Malawi, and it housed the necropolis of Kamun. It had prominence in Pharaonic, Greek and Roman eras, as well as the late Middle Ages. In Pharaonic times, the area was known as Towns, and then Tarnet in the Roman era. The meaning of both names is the Blessing or the Flood. Some of the important archaeological points of interest in the region include the boundary stealer of the so-called heretic king Akhenaten, the catacombs of falcons, baboons and ibises, and the tomb of the priest Petasiris. One of the most famous sites is the tomb and chapel of Isadora, the martyr of love which dates back to the Greco-Roman period. Isadora was a wealthy young woman who drowned in the Nile, running away with her lover. Her body was mummified, and at some point after her death, a cult developed around her tomb. Today, a mummy is displayed in a glass case. Today, Tuna El Gabel is a village with a population of more than 20,000 people. It is already famous for having numerous ancient tombs that bring tourists into the area. But now, if finds like today continue, the local inhabitants may well be seeing a greater influx of tourism as people flock to see the latest discoveries. As we know so well on this channel, recently Egypt has made a series of archaeological finds and they have been heavily promoted in order to revive its tourism industry a huge part of its economy that was greatly reduced by the chaos that followed its 2011 uprising. Interestingly, it was also recently announced that the Grand Egyptian Museum will open next year, in 2020, so I expect many more archaeological finds will come out of Egypt this year, both for tourism and also to drive visitors to the opening of the new museum. Later this month, I am launching a second YouTube channel called Space and Planet, which will focus on Earth and space science news, as well as independent scientific research. Please subscribe now to give my channel a head start, and I'll begin making videos later this month. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.